Good day, grade and learners. I am Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will learn about how to solve problems involving polynomials and polynomial equations. Are you ready? But before we start, kindly prepare yourself learning module, your pen, and paper to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve problems involving polynomials and polynomial equations. Let's begin. Many mathematical processes that are done in everyday life can be interpreted as polynomials. They are used in nearly every field of mathematics to express numbers as a result of mathematical operations. Polynomials are considered building blocks in order to solve problems mathematically. Summing the cost of items on a grocery bill Calculating the distance traveled of a vehicle or object, calculating the perimeter, area, and volume of geometric pictures are just some of the many applications of polynomials. To put it simply, polynomials are almost everywhere. In this lesson, I'll be showing you some guides on how to solve word problems involving polynomials and polynomial equations. Step number one. Before you write anything down, read the problem and find out what the problem is asking for. Then underline it, circle it, put kit stars around it, or etc. In this step, reading comprehension is a mess. Step number two. Choose a variable and use it with the given facts to represent numbers described in the problem. X is the most common variable that we use in representing numbers in word problems. But actually, we can use any letters. Step number three reread the problem then write an equation that represents the relationships in the problem draw diagrams and pictures if it helps you if the problem is all about perimeter or an area then we can just follow the formula to create an equation then step number four Solve the equation and find what is required. And lastly, step number five, check your results and especially units and make sure you are solving for what's in number one. In this step, it's like ensuring that you get what is being asked. And one important note that you need to remember, to solve polynomial equations, the rule of thumb is always isolating the unknown to one side of the equation. For example, if you are looking for the value of x, then you need to separate x from the other data. Okay, let's try to solve word problems involving polynomials and polynomial equations. So we need to set up a polynomial equation that models each problem, then solve the equation and state the answer to each problem. Problem number one. Two numbers differ by five and have a product of 84. Find the numbers. Again, two numbers differ by five and have a product of 84. Find the numbers in this problem we are looking for two numbers that when multiplied together we will have a product of 84 
After knowing what the problem is asking for, then we need to create a representation to solve for it. Let x be the larger number and let x minus 5 be the smaller number. And for step 2, we need to write our working equation. Since we are talking about the product, then we have x multiplied to x minus 5, then the result would be 84. Again, our working equation is x multiplied to x minus 5 equals 84. Step 3. Solve the problem. Our working equation is x multiplied to x minus 5 equals 84. Our next step would be distribute x to the quantity x minus 5. x multiplied to x is equal to x raised to 2. Then x multiplied to negative 5 is equal to negative 5x. Then we write equals 84. After that, we need to transpose 84. So we have x squared minus 5x minus 84 equals 84 minus 84. And that will give us x raised to 2 minus 5x minus 84 equals 0. And the factored form of x squared minus 5x minus 84 is x minus 12 multiplied to x plus 7. Then equating them to 0, we have x minus 12 equals 0 and x plus 7 equals 0. And the value of x is 12 and negative 7. And for step 4, we need to create our conclusion. If the value of x is equal to 12, then x minus 5 is equal to 7 because the value of x is 12 then 12 minus 5 is equal to 7 therefore the larger number is 12 and the smaller number is 7 and if x is equal to negative 7 then x minus 5 is equal to negative 12 because the value of x is negative 7 the negative 7 minus 5 will give us negative 12 the larger number is equal to negative 7 and the smaller number is equal to negative 12 and lastly we need to double check our answer let us check if we multiply the two numbers together we will come up with 84 because the product mentioned in the given problem is 84. 12 multiplied to 7 is equal to 84, which is correct. Then the other values that we get is negative 7 and negative 12. Multiplying negative 7 and negative 12, we also come up with 84. Therefore, the two answers are correct. Let's try to solve another word problem. The area of a triangle is 44 square meters. Find the length of the legs if one of the legs is 3 meters longer than the other leg. Again, the area of a triangle is 44 square meters. Find the length of the legs if one of the legs is 3 meters longer than the other leg. The problem is all about the area of a triangle. The area is given, so basically, we are looking for the value of the base and the height of the triangle. Again, for our step 1, we need to create a representation for the given problem. Let x be the length of the first leg or the base and let x plus 3 
be the length of the other leg or height. Again, let x be the length of the first leg or the base and x plus 3 be the length of the other leg or height. Then for step 2, we need to create our working equation. Since we are talking about the area of a triangle, the formula is A is equal to 1 half multiplied to base times height. The area is equal to 44 as mentioned in the given problem. Then the base is x and the value of height is x plus so our working equation is 44 equals 1 half multiplied to x multiplied to x plus 3. Then for step 3, we need to solve the problem. Again, our working equation is 44 equals 1 half multiplied to x multiplied to x plus 3. Then in order for us to eliminate 1 half, we multiply to both sides. So we have 2 multiplied to 44, which is equal to 88. Then 1 half multiplied to 2 will give us 1 or simply cancel it out. Then x multiplied to x will give us x raised to 2. Then x multiplied to 3 will give us positive 3x. So we have 88 equals x raised to 2 plus 3x. And we transpose 88. So we have 0 equals x raised to 2 plus 3x minus 88. And the factored form of x raised to 2 plus 3x minus 88 is x plus 11 multiplied to x minus 8. Then we equate them both to 0. So we have x plus 11 equals 0 and x minus 8 equals 0. The first value of x is negative 11 and the second one is 8. But in this problem, we cannot accept the two values of x because we are talking about lengths. Therefore, we disregard the negative value which is negative 11. For our step number 4, we need to create our conclusion. If the value of x is equal to 8, then x plus 3 is equal to 11 because the value of x is 8, so we have 8 plus 3 equals 11. Therefore, the length of the first leg or the base is 8 meters and the other leg or height is 11 meters. And lastly, we need to double check our answer. Let us check if it is true that we will come up with 44 as the area of a triangle when the value of the base and height is equal to 8 and 11. So the formula of the area of a triangle is 1 half multiplied to base times height. So we write the value of base which is 8 and the value of height which is 11. So we have 8 multiplied to 11 which is equal to 88 and 1 half of 88 is equal to 44. So the area of a triangle is 44 which is the same as the area of a triangle in the given problem. And that's it! I hope you are now ready to solve word problems involving polynomials and polynomial equations. Again, this is Teacher Anna, and see you on another Matinic episode.